Hello everyone, this video is how to scan a patient. So to recap, we've loaded the software onto our computer, we've connected the Mini Omni device to our computer, we've logged in with the username and password, we've run the daily SQV system quality verification check of the probe in the system. So we are ready to scan a patient. Here is our wonderful patient. Uh, the key elements here are simply stability and consistency. The operator should sit close to the patient. Best to use the corner of a desk or table if possible. You want to be slightly higher than the patient. Even raise your chair or lower the table if possible. The operator can be on either side of the arm as well. You just don't want to be reaching. So in order to prepare the patient, we simply click here on the screen, new patient. And we're just going to type in a few required items. That's the red asterisk items. So uh, it's basically their name and the birth date and gender are very important for the reference databases. <clears throat> and you always want to measure the non-dominant limb. You simply ask the patient if they write with their right hand, then we measure their left. So we're going to mark the halfway point. We ask the patient to rest their elbow here, and uh, we measure to the end of the third finger. That's about 45, so the halfway point is 22 and a half. We're going to set that aside, and then we ask the patient for a thumbs up. And we're going to write a half moon there, and this will be your edge. You definitely want to use the blue hand rest. The elbow should be on the table, and you want to use enough gel. A reminder on the gel is you want it to be clear, water-soluble gel, uh, not the blue or green gel that can be sticky and can damage the probe. So we will place uh, gel the length of the probe. Just two strips is fine. And a reminder on holding the probe, we have gel there as well. Uh, you always want to hold the probe at the bottom. You don't want to be up here. You want to focus on keeping the entire bottom of the probe on the skin at all times, like you're texting with your phone there. You want to keep a medium pace, and you'll move back and forth. So you'll keep the probe on the skin until the beeps end, and then you'll move back the other way. So you just need to focus on where you find the beeps on each patient. You don't need to look at your computer screen at this time. We're gonna rest our hands on the patient again for stability. And now is the time you can move the gel around a little bit and ask if there's a more senior person, if they're comfortable with that pressure, uh, and that's it. So we're going to uh, click on the green button here to measure the radius. And once we start, we're going to keep the entire bottom of the probe on the skin at all times. And that's it. So the result is your T-score. And a reminder that during your training phase and your practice phase, you would want to scan the same person a few times so that you are getting consistent results. And uh, so that's it for how to scan a patient. Please uh, go on and check out our final video that will explain the T-score and the measurement result. Have a great day.